Hey guys, how's it going? It's uh, March 10th, uh, 2018, and uh, I've been waiting for a nice day to shoot this little video um, for the new addition that I have for the van. This is something that I purchased uh, on the day after Thanksgiving for their uh, Black Friday special that they had. I was able to save about 75 bucks and some reduced shipping cost, and uh, I thought I'd have it before Christmas. I didn't get the thing till almost the end of uh, January. So it took a couple of months for the to get it shipped out to me. But uh, I've been excited to get this for the van because I think it's gonna work really well. And as you can see right here, um, I have a cargo rack on the back of the van, and uh, which works good. You know, I use it to keep a lot of dirty stuff uh, that I don't wanna put in the van, you know, when I'm uh, camping or, or uh, up north or wherever we're at, you know, like an outdoor rug or, or you know, just anything dirty. A gas can stuff that I don't want to put inside the van necessarily so which is great but uh, I use the back of my van uh, quite extensively for for my storage it's it's my garage area and as soon as I put the rack on and I go ahead and I put something on it as you can see you can't even open up the back doors you know because the cargo um, stuff on the back of the van doesn't allow you to open up the doors so so let me go ahead and show you the, the newest addition. I think it's going to be a, a great upgrade to the van uh, for, for camping and traveling and uh, some outdoor storage. So let me show you what I have. So I tell you what, the sun's out and it appears to be a pretty nice day, but it's still only 30 degrees. And man, it, it's pretty chilly. It's definitely uh, definitely a cold day. Uh, we should have some warmer weather, hopefully approaching uh, within the next month or so. But uh, what I have here to show you today is called the uh, Hitch Swing from uh, Wilco Off-Road. Um, like I said, I received this towards the end of January. I haven't even opened it. I've been kind of waiting to shoot a video. And um, and I have some, some more components that are going to work with this down the road. But but I did want to get this, this piece installed and make sure it was going to fit exactly how I thought. So, like I said, this is called the Hit Swing from Wilco Off-Road. So let's go ahead and get this thing open. I, have, I haven't, even op haven't even looked at it yet. And uh, packaging seems pretty good. Good job on the packaging here. Okay, let me get let me get out of the box. Looks like it's gonna have a little assembly required. Okay, so you know my first impression is that you know as I thought it would be online this is uh, this is beefy and, uh, and a heavy duty hitch swing so what it's gonna allow it's gonna allow for the cargo rack to be able to swing out of the way so I can access the uh, the gear that's in the back of the van um, as far as the weight capacity so it has for the the hitch swing portion of it um, the cargo capacity is if it's within three foot uh, from the back of the van or from the back of the hitch, you can put 300 pounds. If you go beyond three feet, that uh, cargo capacity cuts in half, so you're down to like 150. So obviously, the further away you get, um, the lighter the lighter uh, cargo you're able to carry. Um, so, but it also uh, still allows you to have your your hitch, uh, so you could you could still tow with this. It's got uh, I don't remember the exact specs on the, the, the hitch rating and the tow rating, but it's just every bit as equal to the uh, the tow capacity of the van and uh, in the hitch that's on it, the class uh, five, I believe, uh, hitch hitch that I have. Could be class three, don't quote me on that one, but uh, but I don't really intend on, on uh, using this for towing, but, but that ability is there. So let's go ahead and get this thing set up and uh, see how it looks. Take this out. Can we take this uh, cargo rack off? And from a little step uh, step bumper that I had in here, that I had in over the winter, I've got a lot of. Looks like it's rusting a little bit and a little dirt and debris, so I have some. Uh, PV blaster that I'm going to go ahead and spray in there, just kind of clean that up a little bit.
And that PV blaster works works pretty good. Oh, my battery died, so I'm not exactly sure where it cut off, but uh, I was able to go ahead and get the um, the hitch swing uh, installed in the receiver, and it leaves me plenty of room here. Uh, I do have a locking hitch pin to put on there because uh, this hitch swing is not cheap. And I'd hate like hell for somebody to walk away with it. So when I get back, I'll, I'll have to tighten this up a little bit with the uh, built-in with the built-in tightener, so this guy goes here. All right, let me get the hardware for this. Got a nylon lock nut, so that should keep this from coming loose. Okay, get that nut tightened up. Just got a pin to keep that locked in there. I can put my hitch carrier back in there. I'm gonna to want to grease that up too a little bit, I can tell you, because that's it's a fairly snug fit. And I did buy a, an anti-rattle uh, hitch pin for this as well. One thing that I do like is that I went ahead and raised up this cargo rack. Uh, because of the offset between the rear tires and the back of the van, adding on, you know, 20 inches of the cargo rack, if I went up a, a steep incline, this rack would drag a little bit. And uh, now that it bumped it up, uh, that, that, shouldn't, that shouldn't be an issue. So, I'm real happy with this. So now that I have some cargo on the back of the van, I can see that I'll probably, you know, have to relocate the, uh, the license plate. Because uh, I do want to put a um, storage box in the back. and uh, But the nice thing is, you know, now I can get inside the van in the back. Pull that pin. That'll swing out of the way nicely. I can see I might have to put a stopper on there so it doesn't hit the van. Can fully open the cargo door so that that's gonna work that's gonna work great oh man that's gonna work great I'm real happy with that uh, so like I said, I'm gonna I plan on putting a cargo box on the back so I can put my outdoor rug, you know, maybe a gas can, you know, lawn chairs, just crap that I, I want to keep outside of the van and uh, still have access to the inside. Now one downfall that I have is this van's got the uh, rear backup sensors that beeps when you get close. It's definitely gonna beep with this on there. So I'm gonna have to look in the manual and see if I can shut the beeper off. You know, I'll still have the heads up display where I can see behind me. No, actually it won't, it'll, it'll look right at the, the box here. So I'll lose that feature, but but that's uh, that's no problem. I kind of I kind of knew that going into it. So, but uh, all right, let me uh, let me give you a little closer look at this thing here because uh, it's getting cold. I want to wrap this up. Okay, just want to go ahead and give you a better look at this here. Uh, from a distance, you can see the clearance that I have. Right, that gives me a lot more clearance here, even more than I thought. I thought I was going to have to put a hitch riser on there to effectively get what I was looking for, but definitely not going to have to do that. It's a side view of that hitch swing. Yeah, this is this is going to work out real nice. I was looking forward to getting this on there. So to, to release it, all you have to do is pull up on this pin here. 
swings it right out of the way. So it doesn't have a stopper that'll prevent this thing from swinging all the way open. I thought it might. So I can see this, that I'm probably not gonna want my cargo box to be any wider than this. Because the longer it is, you know, if it was this long, I'd probably only be able to open up that far. I like the fact that I can swing it this all the way open. Get to fully open the door there. That's going to work out great. Yep. Very solid piece of equipment. I'm very happy with this. This should last a long time. So as far as the cargo capacity, like I said earlier, 300 pounds if you're within uh, three foot. Uh, if you get beyond three foot uh, from the hitch, uh, you're gonna cut that down to 150. So right now I'm weighing in about uh, 225 pounds, just a little less than that. Um, yeah, that's solid. That's a solid piece of equipment there. So it's rattling a little bit right now because I don't have the uh, the tightener secured real good. I'm going to get home and do that. And uh, what I like about this is that with the hitch swing, I could put this cargo rack on there. I could put an enclosed box on the cargo rack. I've got a, uh, a two bicycle bike rack that can go on the back. I could put my bikes on there. I want to get in the back, swing those things out of the way. Um, I'm real happy with this. Uh, that was a good good investment. The cost on this thing was about, I think it was about 450 bucks. I think it was 475. On uh, the Black Friday day after Thanksgiving, they had 50 bucks off. So it was four and a quarter, 50 bucks for shipping. You know, this was not a cheap, uh, a cheap uh, piece of equipment to add on. You know, but I, I think it was uh, it was necessary uh, to to access outside cargo. And to be able to swing it out of the way, go inside, get stuff in the back of the van, and make it make it work out real good. Yeah, I'm I'm real happy with this. So excellent. Well, I appreciate you watching this short video. I felt like it was going to be a, a little going to have a little more meat to it, but. Uh, didn't have uh, a couple of the tools that I thought I was going to need to to tighten it up, um, and the sun went away and man, it got cold. You know, so I said it was 30 degrees and it feels like it's getting a little chillier than that. So I appreciate you watching this episode of Big Trains and Adventures. And uh, if you're a van, you're a traveler, or you're a tradesman, or whatever you have, and uh, you have an, a, a cargo rack on the back, and you still need access in the back of your van, check out the Hit Swing by Wilco Off Road. I think it's a good product and. Uh, I'll give you a further review after uh, we kind of field test this some more. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on a big transit adventure. Peace.